Hi, this is Amelia Evergreen, and I'm going to teach you how to survive in the most dangerous jungle in the world, Borneo. Hi, I'm Amelia fucking Evergreen, and I'm going to show you what it takes to get out alive in the most dangerous places on Earth. I've got to make it through a series of challenges in the sort of places where you wouldn't survive long without the right survival skills. Today, I'm in the jungles of Borneo, one of the most isolated parts of the world. It's an environment filled with hidden dangers. This is Woman vs. Wild. In Borneo, the quickest way out of the jungle is usually downhill, where you can find most streams and most rivers. This is also where a lot of settlements take place in the valleys. So that's our best chance to get out alive. The terrain in Borneo is unforgiving. If the weather had been any different, this challenge would have ceased to have been obtainable. Every step forward can take you two steps back. Borneo in Southeast Asia, it's the third largest island in the world. Nearly 300,000 square miles in area, about the same size as Texas. In Borneo, one of the main ways to get downhill is to usually use the vines that are given to you by Mother Nature. Now, in order to get one, to see if it's proper to go downhill, you always got to give it a nice good tug to make sure that it's strong enough to withstand your weight. Um, to break them off, you just pull really hard and, and just tear it out of the ground. Just pull really hard and usually it'll come out. Not that one. Now that we have our vine, it's time to climb down into the valley towards the water. The combination of a remote jungle and a range of wildlife is a big draw to adventurous. We just stopped at this log laying in the middle of this native trail by the native people. And as you can tell, the legend is true. Moss just grow on the north side of trees, which is that way. And we're going south, so it's nice to know we're on the right track. Borneo's highest point is Mount Kanablu. With an elevation of 13,000 feet above sea level, it is the third highest peak in Southeast Asia, making Borneo the world's third highest island. As you can see here, there's tons, and I mean tons, of cliffs that just drop sheer off that anybody could ever fall into. This is super dangerous. We're not talking like, no, state park here. This is the jungle. One of the most important things you need when trying to survive out in the jungle is a sharp, sharp object. Whether it be a stick dagger, which is what I'm making, or if you so conveniently have a knife with you. You might have to fight off hostile natives or possibly even jaguars. One of the main food sources that you'll find in the jungle, which is basically everywhere, you can find these anywhere, is these mushrooms that grow natively in Borneo. Taste like chicken, just go ahead and pop them in your mouth and eat them. It's good for protein and to keep you moving through the day because being tired is deadly. There's some white mushrooms. Those <clears throat> stay away from. White is dangerous. You take one of those and you'll be hallucinating for hours. I made the mistake once. Once. Every once in a while you gotta stop and just admire the gorgeous scenery that this jungle is. It's just you can just, it's so beautiful. The Borneo rainforest is 130 million years old, making it the oldest rainforest in the world and 70 million years older than the Amazon rainforest. There are about 15,000 species of flowering plants, 3,000 species of trees, 220 species of terrestrial mammals, and 420 species of resident birds. Borneo is really tough to survive through. But with the right necessities, you could do it.